hello and welcome to the channel this is the rally killer and in this video we are going to talk of course about star citizen of 3.12 which has been released it is live in the pu and uh, we'll talk about what's going on here in star citizen of 3.12 in this video so first let's check out uh, some features here in the patch notes we'll first look at the known issues uh, because some of them are a little bit disappointing and uh, i had a, a little run yesterday in the ptu i was really wondering if this was really a release candidate and i'm surprised to see that they decided to push uh, for the release today and not tomorrow but i suppose maybe they'll try to give some hot fixes tomorrow right so unfortunately players can still spawn falling through the planet upon login which is really a big pain right uh, but so uh, you can still uh, recover from that just kill yourself and you should respawn in a hub uh, visiting location from a fresh boot will cause players to spawn on the surface of Hurston, which is also very annoying right that's a ship that's a bug that has been uh, around for quite some time and has not been fixed same as this one they really try really hard to fix the ship canopy that would open and close without player input again they failed to do this they had a workaround uh, they had like an actual fix but the problem is is that this fix prevented people from leaving their seats so that was not possible right the bug was perhaps better than the fix here in this case uh, it's possible for players to time out trying to log in which is also pretty bad some clients are not receiving full member list in global channel player eyes have extra reflective in video select crew l series elevators are missing we've had, we've had that for quite some time shopkeepers uh, in both live fire weapons and garrity are away from their desk being arrested with both utility slops stops slots occupied uh, cause player to respond in prison with a broken multi-tool players may see duplicate general chats chats channels in the movie glass and refining kiosk warning message is missing uh, when it says that uh, material is not selected for remindment and will be discarded let's have a look at the features here in star citizen of 3.12 it's actually quite a very interesting patch i gotta say uh, that it's it looked a little bit lackluster a few months ago but eventually i think that we're gonna have a lot of fun with it melting pot here of course the refinery desk which i obviously on this channel i have tried quite a bit uh, give extra uh, extra gameplay and a complete gameplay loop actually for miners who start mining and then end up cargo hauling to various TDDs. I like that very much. In fact, I am going to buy a Prospector in-game as soon as I get in. And I'll be streaming that, by the way, guys, as soon as this video is uploaded. So feel free to join. Uh, next, we have Death or Glory. And this is, of course, the AI improvement, security responses, weapon using color measures. Now, uh, the AI is going to be a little bit better at countering uh, missiles and torpedoes and uh, they're also probably going to uh, use them as well cloud nine this is also a very exciting one and i'm going to make a video as soon as possible here about those gas clouds which look absolutely phenomenal in the pu and really make overall mining because you can mine in those uh, in those clouds and it makes in my opinion mining much more enjoyable which is again why i'm going to buy a prospector in game uh, birds of war here they're talking about of course the Esperia talon and shrike these are light fighters uh, the talon is more for dogfighting the shrike is more for harassment you no know, missiles uh, shooting missiles from afar uh, interesting little combo here with brand new iridescent type of paint job fill manipulator here which is of course the multi-tool tractor beam which is fantastic in eva if you want to go a little bit faster than uh, your eva suit can afford and you can also uh, carry items the weapon zeroing here for snipers this is going to allow people to shoot at targets effectively up to 2000 meters also two new guns the ao3 sniper rifle here and the gemini fs9 which is a fantastic submachine gun i absolutely love the sound that it makes i made also a video about that the great outdoors here of course uh updates on uh, daymar microtech and the other moods around the stanton system which look much more beautiful look at those glowing uh, glowing reflections here on those icy terrains. Uh, you know, it's funny because I made a video about how uh, Elite Dangerous Odyssey is putting stuff into shame, but with those upgrades, I think that the, both games are probably going to be on par as having absolutely fantastic and beautiful graphics. Good job here, CIG. A little bit of extra flora as well, which is great, so we're going to have little plants and extra detail as we get 
across the verse. Effortless extraction here, which is of course the new UI, um, UI mining UI, which again I made a couple of videos on the channel about it, and uh, again I think that it is more intuitive and it makes mining overall more enjoyable. Great quality of life improvements here. The eyes on the price, so if you are into uh, this kind of technology, uh, you can get a Tobin eye tracker. This costs about $200, these don't come cheap, but they definitely make your life a little bit easier. I think that the free look, which you just hold Z and move your mouse around, also kind of works, but if you are not into that and you want to just be using your eyes, this is also a great alternative. Battle stations here, uh, <laughs> dynamic events, this one's also maybe uh, the uh, the <laughs> the main course of 3.12. Uh, for 3.12 premieres, back in tech that enables dynamic events in Star Citizen ever-expanding universe, quarterly patches released will now include new, unique missions and server-wide activities from improving annual events like Invictus, Launch Week, and enabling patch exclusive adventures and battle dynamic events will begin shaking the verse up very soon including apparently we're going to have the xeno threat here which is going to attack stanton the different stations around with idris frigates and there's going to be uh, a lot of action that's what we're talking about here assault on uh, stanton which is um, probably i don't know if this is the arlington address which is also something that's going to be unlocked if you do the missions from miles eckhart or the xeno threat i guess only time will tell and of course the talent is available once again uh, there was a little increase here uh, it was at dollars now it's 115 dollars that's all for this video guys i can't wait to jump in the verse so if you haven't added me on twitch uh, please click in the link down below because i'll probably be there i'll also give a notification in the community tab thank you very much for watching guys have a wonderful day this is the radicator i'll see you guys later